A Southern Alberta family has issued an emotional appeal in hopes of getting someone to come forward with information about the death of 26-year-old Edna Fourhorns. Fourhorns was killed May 17th while walking along Highway 3, just east of Brockett. But as Terry Vote reports, the death has raised more questions than answers. Family members gather at the site where 26-year-old Edna Fourhorns died three weeks ago. It's been an agonizing three weeks for her mother, her sisters, and other close relatives. It's, it's very unsettling. Um, we would like to, we would like to know, ex like what happened. Police say Fourhorns was walking along the highway when she was struck in the head by a large piece of wood, likely a two by four or two by six. They're unable to say if the wood fell from a passing vehicle or struck the woman as the vehicle drove by. RCMP are urging people to come forward if they have any information, even if they're not sure that it's relevant. If we're going to get the whole story, we need to hear what everyone has to say. Um, we, can, uh, we can determine at our level whether information is useful or not. Family members say in their minds there are too many unanswered questions. They say Edna left a nearby house without her purse, something she wouldn't normally do. They also say she hated walking alone at night. Family members say Edna had recently turned her life around, that she had found religion and was planning to go to school in Edmonton. They say they were expecting that she would be around forever. And then in an instant, she was gone. If I keep hearing different things like from different people, like different stories, and I'm wondering why they're not going forward to, t to let RCMP know. At the end of the day, they need to realize that this is about a family, this is about closure. Police maintain this investigation remains a high priority. The family is concerned that as time goes on, the community will begin to lose interest. They're vowing not to let that happen until the case is resolved. Terry Vote, CTV News, on the Begunny Nation. Family members say only two people have come forward with information so far. If you have any information, please contact police.